Welcome to Electron Online. Besides definition, we also have postulates, and postulates are also necessary in some cases to perform proofs. Now, we don't have a, an exhaustive list of postulates here, but we do have some that are kind of handy when we try to do proofs. Now, what is a postulate again? Well, it is a rule in geometry that is accepted without proof. You can just kind of look at it and go, that makes sense, I don't need to prove it. That is indeed correct. For example, a linear pair, reference to angles, so a linear pair of angles have angular measures that add up to 180 degrees. Here are two angles, one and two, and yes indeed, when you take those measures and add them up, they add up to 180 degrees. A ruler, the ruler postulate says that the measure of a line segment is the difference between two points on the ruler. Here's the beginning of the line segment, the end of the line segment, you take these two points on the ruler, you subtract one from the other, the difference is the length of that line. A segment addition, if we have two segments, a segment from A to B and a segment from B to C, when you add their measures together, the length of these two segments, those add up to the segment A to C, which is indicated by that equation. The protractor postulate tells us that the measure of an angle is the difference between two points on the protractor. So see that there's one point on the protractor, there's the other. The, measure, the, measure, the angle measure between those two lines forming that angle equals the difference between the two numbers on that protractor where the lines cross. Angle addition, here we have two angles, angle 1 and angle 2. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 adds up to the measure of angle 3. A line, by definition, any two points form a line. In other words, you have two, any two points and you connect them with a line that is, by definition, a line. So a line can be formed by two points and there's no other line that can exist that connects to those two points. There's only one line and that's by postulate. Intersecting lines means that any two intersecting lines share one and only one point. And finally, any three nonlinear points form a plane. And so using these postulates, you can then get help by using that information to prove something. In other words, you can go ahead and take that rule as a given. You don't need to prove that individual rule, and that can then lead you to a final proof in geometry. And that's why we need postulates.